NAB arrests a retired deputy superintendent of police who was also a sub-inspector of NAB and second MR in a drug haul case. Chief Minister Birin shows discontentment at the loopholes in police recruitment and investigations of crimes by the police. Former Chief Minister Okram Ibobi slams NDA government for delaying National Sports University Bill. JCLPS Students Wing detains eight non moneyperies entering the state without proper identification, bans a series through tours and travels. of the boxing ring, Mary Com clinches a goal on day 10 of the 21st edition of Gold Coast Commonwealth Games 2018. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime English News. I'm Joyce Rusham with the top stories and uh, latest news at this hour. In one of the most uh, shocking incidents, a retired deputy superintendent of police and a former sub-inspector of NAB and 2nd MR was allegedly found to be involved in peddling WI tablets in the state. Speaking to media persons at NAB office in Old Lumberland today, DSP NAB MPS TH Brinda said the retired DSP identified as Muhammad Abdul Latif, 63 years, was arrested by personnel of NAB around 8.10 last evening and he is kept under police remand for seven days. She stated that around 1 lakh WI tablets brought in a force cruiser were seized from one Manzil Ahmed Lakskar from Assam at Tausem by 23 Assam rifles posted at Kaimai in Tamenglong district on April 10. An FIR was filed against Manzil and the seized items were handed over to NAB. During the investigation, Manzil had disclosed that the seized drugs were loaded in the set seized vehicle, a force cruiser, at the residence of the retired DSP Mohammed Abdul Latif in Dulalin, Kabo Lekai. Brinda stated that further investigation will be carried out to identify other culprits involved in the case apart from Mohammed Abdul. She also mentioned that 51 cases were handled by the NAB in the previous year, while the NAB has already tackled 30 cases in just four months this year. She also is short of maintaining transparency while investigating all cases. Deputy Sprinian and Amasiana was he Magi Matakta Kanakana, Lady Havasu. A way to get Zari, I do ticket Pagi Matungina. My Matakta labor be it anybody. A way to win a lamb, never do it on a Zavanigo. And where any way see Masi narcotics car, arms car, foreigners car, Katang specially, Dilta way unit, Manipur Police key. Last year, two thousand seventeen, the fifty one cases registered away. But in two thousand eighteen, Tha mari sida ekoi thirty cases register tau re. Adu vasi kisi breakthrough ni have the drug ki case da deputy superintendent na namasya na bagi fa vasi mani police ki kano da history dang ta thok tribe thok do amani ko. Adu makhata vasu ekoi aso aso bhame amama public na lahi riba pen da bakhota bhame amsi ekoi matam matam matung na am transparently adu thabo ina pay khacha gaye. Chief Minister Nongthung Mambirin has shown discontentment at the loopholes in police recruitment and in investigations of crimes by the police. He asserted that lack of value for money and time and being divided into two different sections at any issues hindered the development of the state. Chief Minister Birin made a statement at the 127th birth anniversary observance of Dr. Bhimrao Ramji Ambedkar, India's great social reformer, popularly known as Baba Saheb Ambedkar today. As observed across the nation, Dr. B.R. Ambedkar's birth anniversary observance was jointly organized by District Administration Imphal West and Imphal East as the Social Justice Day at Sangai Hall of Hotel Imphal. Speaking further, Chief Minister Birin lauded the contributions and roles of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar in eradication of social untouchability and casteism in the country. 
Biren said, following the ideology of the great social reformer, his government is making all out efforts to bring closer inhabitants of both the hills and valley in Manipur. Biren lamented at lack of value for time and money and the culture of being divided into two different groups at any issues by the people in the state. He called on the people to leave behind such attitudes for bringing an overall development in Manipur. Blaming indirectly to the previous government, the chief minister said many loopholes were found in the investigation officer's reports in connection with the recent Rohingya human trafficking case. He said a religion of Rohingya traffickers were mentioned as Hindus and foreigners act were sidelined in the cases. Biren questioned as to how the culprits can be punished when relevant officials investigating such major crimes commit such mistakes. Time management ga money value ga. Everywhere ani ani ekat thok pishe. Masim danga thok trabo ko. Pichhi pichhe koi chhi mina tam jininga hoye community state amu hoye ne koi. The prajana kari paami ke si last twenty thirty years la orgal abonga thun. Na unhe noi kari paamge na hangu bhi me thok tadi. A koi ki government china hujik ta hoga badi implementing part. Manipur secretary service finance service loi aun ne koi interaction program karta hoye. Police ki si SI baogi level lai thok dori. Kari kino hai bokanda. Is the recruitment process ta koi ni foi bade ki. Me khara phare. Openly phare ba misi rohinga ni aje khange. ऑपीटी <laughs> On the other hand, Works Minister Tongam Biswajit appeals to the government officials to raise awareness on various schemes of the state and the central government among the public to provide the benefits of the schemes to larger number of people. He also appeals to the public to try and fully understand the schemes of the government. A 20-day campaign under Pradhan Mantri Gram Swaraj Abhyan to raise awareness on the schemes will begin from today in connection with the Social Justice Day. Officials of different government departments will organize the campaign in different localities and villages. In the government, I am the Bharati Prime Minister. 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 Amati makhui tadi feedback lawre ahar kanda kari anu ba inisiatif lawu tadi gaya hari kepandang ga hari bagi segi kram suraj abyan aja sengi lepunya dunia macam ni dah kena segi Manipur dah tapi beri bapa makhui tunggu office charging handan aja naju hari jaga every section kudimu tadi bukan di mana magi magi dah tu lawi raga si grass uti yau lehar kanda afawa abyan ama mapung fawa segi lari umar cekan putu iba skim kudimu si yau lehar kanda honourable chief minister ki कोई गो टू विलेजेस तो अपन पी के तो वो बेनिफिशिंग जी मंगान मुफ्फाउन वो देख कॉर्पोरेशन पी भी हुआ सोशल वेलफेयर मिनिस्टर नेमचा किपगेन हैज अजर्टेड दैट दी हेल that the hardly a year and a half old BJP-led state government has brought various developmental changes in Kangpopi district and further hoped that with the Go to Hill slogan initiated by the government, many more developmental works will be undertaken. Nemcha Kipgen was speaking at the one-day booth level workers training program organized by BJP Kangpopi and Cycle Mandal at LNC Hall in Kangpopi today. Speaking further, Minister Nemcha said booth level training program plays a major role in strengthening the party. She also emphasized the need to aware every voters at the booth level in, on various developmental projects and schemes undertaken by the government. Former Chief Minister Okrami Bobby termed the statement made by Rajya Sabha MP Ketramayum Babananda that the National Sports University Bill could not be passed as the Parliament was disrupted by Congress Party as utter shame. The opposition leader questioned why the four years old NDA government at the centre is waiting for the last budget without passing the bill. The former Chief Minister was speaking at the 127th birth anniversary observance of Dr. Ambedkar organized by Manipur Pradesh Congress Committee at the MPCC office today. Ibobi said the BJP government at the center and state should leave behind. They believe that the people of Manipur would blindly believe their words of mouth. He also recalls that Union Finance Minister Arun Jetli had announced that 100 crore rupees 
fund has been earmarked to establish National Sports University in Manipur as soon as NDA came to power at the centre. Ibobi asserted that the bill could have been passed long ago if the centre has consideration for the sports persons of the state. He said that the Congress party proposes discussion of annual bills before passing in the parliament and maintains that BJP cannot just pass anything at their whims. The former chief minister also asserted that Congress party will continue to work for the development and welfare of the people. Floral tributes were offered at the portrait of the father of the Indian constitution at the event. He married a Sahi last budget last session. I lay his career. How he but Sahi married the Dikaito like ever. Moina determined to over Manipurgi players in Nunshiraba, Baroti players in Nunshiragadi. I do Hundak Sudum passed over Yana. Hundak budget without any discussion passed over Yudo. Curry, you know, the past of the day. National Sports University ki bill do budget to without any discussion passed out do adumaina passed out di kar gino o idaba padaba bjp se bhai hai je laga manipur ki praja singh se apang bane na khanba madhu di apang bane te mani oi roi do ba oi oi ju oi draba oi roi do do na na dum to bhai na akhoi ki matam da uh, NIT National Institute of Technology Lampian Pata Sisa Hosa Miyadi Labise. Head high baga. Akoi Adum Araiba infrastructure. Polytechnic the whole Sahi Mari Hendra. As observed across the nation, National Institute of Electronic and Information Technology, Nilit Akampat, also joined in observing Ambekar Jayanti today. Speaking on the occasion, SIO NIC Manipur K.H. Rajan spoke extensively on the life of Ambedkar. He stated that despite suffering from prevailing various uh, social political scenarios, Ambedkar worked only for the welfare and for a united India. Addressing the gathering, Executive Director T.H. Prameshwar appealed to the students to learn from the life of Dr. Ambedkar. He lauded the Digital India initiatives of the Government of India for digitally empowering the people of the country. I have a lot of people who are in the world. But the other side, Bharat Sri, Nimiti Oina, lay in the middle of the world. I have a lot of people who are in the world. I have a lot of people who are in the world. I have a lot of people who are in the world. I have a lot of people who are in the world. I have a lot of people who are in the world. I have a lot of people empowering the poor. India as you want, as a How as a technologist, technical institution like Nilit, how can we fit into that? Agriculture Minister V. Hankalian has launched Gram Swaraj Abhiyan, a special initiative for villages with a large number of saturation under Sapka Saad, Sapka Gaon, Sapka Vikas campaign in Churachampu district today. The event was organized by the district administration on the occasion of Bhimrao Ambedkar Jenti at a district training center, Tibong. Speaking at the launch, Hankalian said that the Gram Swaraj Abhiyan aims to cover weaker sections of the society under key welfare schemes of the government. In his first public speech in Maitai Lawn in Churachanpur, the minister said that the need to spread awareness about various schemes and projects of the government to the beneficiaries in the hills and villages in order to avail the benefits to them has prompted the state government under the leadership of Chief Minister Nongthomban Biren to launch noble initiatives like Go to the Hills and now Go to the Village Mission. He said that these initiatives have been launched to explore the economic and social conditions of the people in the hills and remote areas with the objectives to improve their lives and bring equitable development. Hankalian also encouraged the people to get themselves acquainted with the state language to avoid communication barrier. The minister also stressed the need for better and efficient uh, coordination among all stakeholders, including politicians, officers, social and village leaders and church leaders for efficient implementation of various grassroots developmental schemes.
Gram Swaraj Abhiyan campaign with an aim to provide LED bulbs of 9 watt at subsidized rate to the far flung areas and was also flagged off by Commissioner M. Lakshmi Kumar from the Office of Manipur State Power Distribution Company Limited in Dulalan today. This campaign is launched nationwide today in relation with Ambekar Jayanti and will conclude on May 5. Addressing media persons, M. Valengam, State Coordinator, Energy Efficiency Services Limited, said as part of the campaign, EESL will provide LED bulbs of 9 watt at a rate of 50 rupees per unit under Ujala Yojana scheme. He said the campaign is initiated under Sapka Saad, Sapka Gaon, Sapka Vikas to promote social harmony, to spread awareness about government initiatives and to reach out to the poor households at far-off places. He said that they will provide bulbs through mobile vans at identified villages of all districts at subsidized rates. <laughs> JCLPS Students Wing has detained eight non Manipuris who entered the state boundary without proper identification documents. The Students Wing has also banned a zero tours and travels who accommodated the individuals in their journey. Speaking to media persons at JCLPS office at TDM Road, convener of JCLPS Students Wing Manjit Sarangtem stated that the eight individuals who entered the state to work at Vensor Construction Company Limited with just a simple entry pass were arrested from North AOC in the early hours today. Manjit questioned why the government is showing their negligence in this matter at the wake of the ILP crisis. He opines that such individuals without proper identification proofs are behind theft and various other crimes as recently witnessed in the state. The student's wing has called for a meeting in this regard with representatives of Siroi Tours and Travels at JCLPS office by tomorrow. <laughs> Manipur Police Department na mapungwe na hari banan Manipuri masagi saktak si ningti ni yawgda basinga si check post lady basinga si da karam na check toru gab si acho wahong makak oire Rohingya ra na traga na Bangladesh ira khang da ba sigo makaya makak masagi saktak si ningti ni yawgda ba hai zaba tai na Manipuri kama makak apan ba aching ba mata na yawgda na changak liba asina asi lamdam si ki kunagi sandwich loan da lengak loan da kunagi punsirol da pirak liba chay thank chay fu singa si Nasi lamdam si kini lengak pasing na kanda birakan da matam matam gi ya ana ba lengak sasan tau bagi mahut ta nasi lamdam si da tu kumbai inner line pam sistem macam na ana ba akak na ba low mas sembi na ba nasi lengak asin na bakar pam matuk tarian. Now it's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we bring you news on Chairaoba's celebration in the state today. Keep watching Impact News. Welcome back. You're watching Primetime English News. Manipuri Hindus observed a Chairaoba festival today with traditional fervor and gaiety. As part of the New Year's festival, traditional Manipuri cuisines were prepared in every household and offered to God. The preparation began early in the morning with both men and women and even the children of the household lending their helping hands. As per tradition, various cuisines were placed at the entrance gate as an offering to the god for a prosperous year ahead. Neighbors also exchanged their special dishes prepared for the day. Married women presented gifts to their parents and brothers on the occasion. The younger generation also sought the blessings of the elders in the family. After the feast, people had climbed hills in the afternoon as a tradition. Traditional Thabal Chongma dance performances are being held at various places since evening as part of the festival. For the people following Hindu religion, the day is very important and significant. President Ramnath Kovin, Governor Dr. Naj Mahaptullah and Chief Minister Nong Thumbambirin had extended their greetings to people of the state on the occasion and wished that the festival brings peace, prosperity and love among the communities of the state.
Manipur lay di ba kawiya drama chapa mitai proof singi khwaidi ki maru eban numit amu ori ba Bengali loan da charuk puja hai na khangna ba dung ba sai ra oban numit asida hari ba khubam asida miyam na sing karak tuna khubam asida angam ba hai rang lay rang kat tuna laring thogi mafam da thongi jari ibadu pakhang bogi sana hang tak tiki sana kala ba adum laba Manipur ki chai thaba chai tharga Lambam sigi sahi hau khiba ki numit abu ningsing dura sahi chupa pangthong na dura lapun numit as amani hari ba mafam masida lai khurumba langi ba miyam sing dagi sing ka bagi awa nungai ki pabdom impact news na miyam da thamsa ke nasi mang da ubiri ba apun bagi sakta mama ai ki nangi magi hai ba khai ba lai tana mayam pun na lak min dana harau ta yam na lai min ari ba sigum na lambam asida awan ba hai ba tung da lak kada ba mirol gi da mak ta ai koi na ai di pun sin na wa khalo na si mayam pun na bu min na tana nungsi chan na ing min asia Sahih orang pasti lalu nama yang pagi sesuai itu dari pun nama siapa pun aku ada senyuman hari ini. Semua tiensi hari kang yang mana? Uti iroma sampun ngautong waran. Eh, sang ini nungai nama kare ini wali ini sih deh. Wah betul. Mayam sih pun ada tuh unity mas agar nabi mohon dek kara kau. Lai juga ramba dek lebar ke cakar nabi dek santi perlu mohon lusu. Kau ini soda Tony juga kok. Nasi kau ini nasi ayu lagi. Tapi kau ni orang sini juga kangkung kari kerak kerak. Ising kerak sih dah ni kau. Ising aku mukul lah mana. Aku itu mesti kau mesti missing buat muka unite tuhan baka. Ising ba matang deh yang nampai hari kan kali. Aku di cuma long side tu nalar. Di bawah sih. Santi kau ini aduh ni yang panjang dia tu kau. Sentung kau similon dah. Yang tu sokot pun mana puru hein ba. Aduh, ni ni pamer je. Ini cerau cing kapas si, eh, kui cing sih kara kan, ngasai ayi kui punsi sih dah, anu buat jai faba, amu kui cing dah wang nak kara kahat pasu mai na, ayi jai faba ngam jaga hai pasi ngasai cerau cing kapas si dah wakan nak kelaga, eh kui nak kapas si, si dah kui jamun ngaya pauji. The 74th anniversary of Flag Hoisting Day, commemorating the first tricolor flag hoisted by Netaji Subhas Chandra Bose in Moirang, was celebrated at INA Hall in Moirang today. Addressing the event jointly organized by the Department of Arts and Culture and INA Advisory Committee Moirang every year, Governor Nash Mahaptala said holding such event alone is not enough to pay tribute to the freedom fighters who fought unceasingly for independence against the British imperialists. She emphasized the importance to research their life histories and set up memorial sites in order to pay tribute to their roles in the independence movement. The governor also stated that India cannot forget Manipur in its freedom struggle and that Manipur has a considerable chapter in the history of the country. Quoting Prime Minister Narendra Modi's statement that there can be no development if we forget our history, grandson of Netaji Subhas Chandra Bose Chandra Kumar Bose said, history of the past needs to be researched and rewritten for the present generation. He also urged to the state government for the same. Lok Sabha MP Pralat Singh Patel, Arts and Culture Minister L. Jayanta Kumar, MLA Moirang P. Sarachandra, Director of Arts and Culture M. Lakshmi Kumar, retired personnel who took part in Subhas Chandra Bose's movement and top police and civil officials of Bishnupur district attended the event. keen interest. Now I have to sit with him as he wanted to develop this whole complex as a complex where people from India and abroad will come to pay their tributes to all those freedom fighters who were led by Netaji Subhash and the Prince. Men and women who fought against the British mighty force with guns and they had nothing except swords. They all died. We have a memorial for them. But that's not enough. We should try, impress upon the central government and especially the Ministry of HRD that while we are writing our history books and the chapter about the India's freedom struggle or India's freedom, India's struggle against the British occupation, Manipur should come on every page. And though People who died over here, their names also should be written in golden words. 
Bobby Wahengbam's Matamgi Manipur, the first Manipuri feature film, won the best book on cinema at the 65th National Film Awards 2017, which was announced yesterday. It is the first time that a book on Manipuri cinema won the coveted award for the best book on cinema. The President of India will present this Warna Kamal Award, including a cash award of 75,000 rupees, to Bobby Wahengbam at an award ceremony on 3rd May in New Delhi. The book provides a vivid account of the socio-political scenario in which Manipur regional cinema was born. It denotes a compassionate account of the dreams, challenges, preparation, execution and the success of the team involved. The critical analysis of the film makes it more praiseworthy and insightful. Film actor and Shumanglila artist Morangtem Sunil Kumar, also popularly known as Sunil My Boy, has donated every organ of his body to the state health department after his death. He also appeals to all to undertake such resolutions since it is more important to serve people who need an organ rather than being cremated. Morang Tem Sunil Kumar disclosed his bold decision at a simple ceremony held at Akam Pukri Mapal in Lamshan constituency, attended by Health and Family Welfare Minister L. Jenta Kumar, MLA Sengmai Haikam Dingo, and editor of Naharol Gi Thaudang, Khoirom Loyalakpa, and many other people were present. Many eminent personalities of Manipur Film Fraternity also attended the program. Speaking on the occasion, Health Minister L. Jenta Kumar lauded the admirable initiative of Moirang Tem Sunil Kumar and stated that the Health Department, as a mug of encouragement, will organize a reception ceremony so soon. On the other hand, the minister maintains that the state is putting all out efforts to implement the CNA policy and that Arts and Culture Department has started inspecting sites for construction of a film institute at Kairau and film city at Kumbi. The health minister further appeals for cooperation from the film fraternity. <laughs> House, the assurance be but the police may have to know same when they have a game. And over there, I'm a song of quick commissioner Tanaraga. Mamang the Lerma Makalgi, I'm crude to your mong the Lerma Makli Poching do, Matu Kandu Kanyan Toraga, I'm the refined of a mong the Sell even modern trains, the Sugar Chan of a mong the Kakto Coxin Tor, but on the Matu final Castellari Masaki, Kevinator, Hantaki Yargi, April Manunda, I want to chip minister of Sawai Sajaraga, April Manunda Matugito, Mayam the Kevinet Dissin Lor Matunda. On the other hand, Morang Tem Sunil Kumar maintains that he made his decision inspired by the idea that timely donation of organs can enable a person to save countless other lives. He further appeals to the citizens of the state to join him in this campaign to help others in need and sustain a healthy society. I could get a monk one, a hang bar, my am Uriba, Kunimoxi Uba Pangadurineva. Ado, Sigitona say, I quake Shai Sana. I quit the monks of Burden Labour, not of Nina. Sigupuns and Gradoni, my Tadogran, I do not of Nina. Can I go mudu do not or Mogamid was away? I take a sangue or cat, I'm on with the Kudulta Mamoga. Mugibun, she knew anything of way, I have a taragadi. I quit donor with the Kariki the Mukta, I quit Kigadorim, I quit monks of Labour, not Non-communicable disease control program with an aim to keep in check five non-communicable diseases kicked off at Nongpok Sekmai in Thaubal District today. District Health Society Thaubal organized a campaign to find out people with diabetes, hypertension, oral cancer, breast cancer and cervix cancer under national program for precaution and control of non-communicable diseases at Nongpok Sekmai Public Health Center. Speaking on the occasion, Director of Manipur Health Services, Dr. P. Sham Sundar said the PHC has become a center for precaution and control of non-communicable diseases and that the center has the facility for treatment of the diseases. CMO of Taubal District Dr. Jenta Kumar, District Family Welfare Officer Dr. N. Akendra were among those present at the launching event of the campaign. A program facilitating video conference with the Prime Minister to improve health and well-being of the people was also launched on the occasion.
The non-communicable disease control program was also launched by District Health Mission Society NCD Cell in Far West at Mekola Primary Health Center today. Speaking on the occasion, Director of Health Services and Family Welfare Services, Dr. K. Rajo, stated that diabetes, hypertension, oral cancer, breast cancer and cervical cancer can be prevented only by changing lifestyle, food habits and proper health care. He said a person with BP can live up to 100 years if the person maintain healthy lifestyle and change food habits. Chief Medical Officer in Far West Dr. H. Kula and Additional Director Public Health Medical Directorate Dr. K. H. Sashi Kumar Mangang were among those present at the event. <laughs> regular health checkup every six months, every one year, she told me blood pressure is not only detected already. Huli Masam Targa, which is she, say he's some hold me in Biavane. Tom Tom, I am Z, Hens and Sassamba, Tabuki Toga, Sasa Sasa, Pantel of Office, Walk in the Toba. Machine may have Ziggy Tabitis, a torpor. Masizu, Bixilite, Yaku Ishana, Masi sections of a letter at the quality. Simba Programmasina, Manipur de Leriba, Kuru de Leriba, the Masi Low and Matam Tan Sandro, the whole Manipur Simba Tunga Torkot. Masina, a coy ladyba, a coy say contragi, matuxing chair, no palms and pigeon deer, present a screen of Togna, coin a care nor the dish chair, present a tabby, treatment of it, Himunga Manam sings there, a coin up for the Matil Palm View, a coy Hoxham, Pana Lazi. Queen of the Boxing Ring, Mary Com from Manipur, popularly named as Magnificent Mary or Olympian Mary Com, has clinched a gold medal in boxing at the ongoing Commonwealth Games 2018 at Gold Coast, Australia. She secured the medal after defeating Northern Ireland's Christina O'Hara in the 45-48 kg category. Rejoicing her victory, students of her academy expressed happiness by singing and dancing. Renowned coach Ibomcha, who visited the academy, expressed joy at Mary Com's victory, stating that she has once again brought glory to Manipur and to the entire nation. He confidently added that he had predicted Mary Com's win at the first bout of the match itself. Secretary of the Academy Jimmy also commended Mary Com's success and maintains that her achievement is a source of immense pride for her academy, her state and the country. He added that a reception ceremony will also be held upon Mary Com's arrival on April 17. Students of the academy also express immense happiness at their teacher's gold medal victory. Game is the game. Ni. No, 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 see, uh, I know Dominato was he, uh, Hayang Manato, the Bosonatidum. See the game boxing the Diam Nakanoto, we, uh, a quaggy fraction of second, the Dum says to it, this isn't it. Bought her Horopoda, Mericom, Namagi, Yamna, Saxon, Torangalina, Namana, Borlain, aggressively in a mana, attacked to war, the defensive missing Bopanato, Matu, the Baya, they have a cent person, Magi, a Dumba, Wakulundo, and Ufangi. Pugni and Pele Haitariko, Adum Quay. Manipur, Masana, Sumaina, Nupigi, Su, Toidogna, Mahakna Sumaina, Gold Medal, Nambira, Lobira Pussy. Maki Fitness Kumudo, Kuna Kangak Pokandako, Naxilak Matam, Naxilak Pokandi, Yam, Tazavale, Aduga, Makna, Quarter Final, Sanaba, Aduga, Semi Final, Ying, Sanavi Ying Mokandisu, Aman Adum, Logani Havisegi, Adugi Tazaba, Chit Pedile. Works Minister Tongam Biswajit has also congratulated the women boxer MC Mary Com on winning a gold medal in women's 45-48 kg category at the ongoing Commonwealth Games 2018 at Gold Coast in Australia. He said Mary Com's victory has reaffirmed the sporting powers of Manipuri women in the world stage. Minister Biswajit further hopes for Mary Com to bring more laurels in the days to come. Now before we end, let's take a look at the headlines once again. NAB arrests a retired deputy superintendent of police who was also a sub-inspector of NAB and second MR in a drug hold case. Chief Minister Birin shows a discontentment at the loopholes in police recruitment and investigations of crimes by the police. Former Chief Minister Okrami Bobby slams and the government for delaying National Sports University bill.
JCLPS Students Wing detains eight non Manipuris entering the state without proper identification, bans serial tours and travels. And the Queen of the Boxing Ring, Mary Com, clinches a gold on day 10th of the 21st edition of Gold Coast Commonwealth Games 2018.